The fight to offer the best AI model to the market is at its peak. The leaders are apparent. On one side, we've got Microsoft with its massive OpenAI investment, and on the other side, Google introducing one functional AI model after another. The two companies have quite two different approaches when it comes to AI, business models, and applications. Microsoft and OpenAI are going for a more general uh, model that can be tweaked and applied in various environments. Their model was fed, fed a large body of data, but was trained using older GPUs. Just yesterday, OpenAI introduced the GPT 4.0 model, and it's awesome. See the link below. Google, on the other side, is focused on integrating their AI into existing products, making them more appealing. They focus on functionality that is tailored to specific use cases, helping you save time using Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Slides. Their former Stadia data centers that included top-notch uh, GPUs seem to have been repurposed into tra training new AI models, giving Google an edge here. Two different approaches, but one problem that these two companies are working to solve, helping you save time. And we know people are happy to pay for time-saving functionality. Think Uber. The one question remains, trust. Are these models easy to work with uh, to make them accurate enough to uh, be used in a mission-critical application, and thus will they be adopted by the general market? But what's in it for me, Anton, you will ask. Uh, the one AI uh, use case that you need to pay attention to when it comes to your business is the functionality of AI models to where you can feed it your own data, be it a large set of support documentation, a catalog of resources, corporate knowledge base, offer details, letting the model digest the information and produce actionable insights for your users. Now, that could be a game-changing factor in your user experience design, helping you separate from the competition today.